Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. So I was gonna go for a walk slash run, but uh, someone commented on one of my videos to show how I apply fragrances. And I thought that this would be quite quick to film because I know exactly what I do. Okay, so guys, I am quite OCD, so uh, I hope it's gonna be a quick video, but it might be a long one. So if you are not interested in me or how I apply my fragrances, there is no rule, this is how I do it, okay? So, I would apply a fragrance after a shower, okay? But I apply it a few times a day, but I'm gonna come to it after. So basically what I would do is that I would put my hair away from me. This is if I stay home. If I have nothing special to do after a shower, I would do that. My neck. This is Francis Curdy Jean Baccarat Rouge. I already have three sprays of it, so I'm gonna have six. And I do that, only on that hand. I heard that if you start doing that, you break the molecules and the perfume doesn't smell the same. Is it true or not? I have no clue. You tell me, okay? In the shop once I did it and the girl was like, no. But guys, it was like 13 years ago, okay? Though, so don't come after me that I don't know anything about fragrances because I do. Okay, so this is typically how I... Oh my God, now I smell so strong. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna go with red lipstick running, like so OTT. So basically... This is how I apply fragrances. Why do I take my hair out of the way? Simply because... Okay, so... In turn me now. Okay, so basically, I do not want residues of the perfume in my hair. Because if the next day I shower and I want to wear another fragrance and I don't wash my hair, I don't want the fragrance that I applied the next day to be in my, uh, to be mixed with the fragrance I have left in my hair from, in this case, Baccarat Rouge, okay? Also, I reapply fragrance a few times a day. Depending on if it's a strong fragrance or not, I reapply a few times a day. If it's Baccarat Rouge, I would just apply it, I would, I guess, after a morning shower and maybe one spritz before night, like somewhere on my chest, or in between my breasts, okay? Yeah, in between my boobies. So I would do that. If I was to go out, okay? If I was to go out, like, I don't care, I sacrifice my hair. So basically, I layer the same perfume if I go out, meaning I would do after the shower the same as, as what I told you, one, two, three. I would put my makeup on, do my hair, put my clothes on, and then I would spray in between 5 and 10 on my globality, like I would just do like So this is if I go out, okay? Then, uh, what else did I want to say? What do I do in a shower? So, I shower, okay? And uh, usually what I do is that I change, I wear my fragrance for like 2 to 3 days depending on when I'm gonna wash my hair. So for example, now with this hair, I'm wearing Baccarat uh, Rouge. So it means that I'm probably gonna wash my hair after tomorrow. And until after tomorrow, I'm gonna only wear Baccarat Rouge in case it has transferred in my hair. You know what I mean? But with weaker fragrances, I would apply the first rule, meaning I would take away my hair from my face and, or if I have a lot of fragrances to try and I don't have three days to try one fragrance. So basically I would then just remove my hair, wait for it to totally dry with my hair up and then put my hair down so it wouldn't transfer. Okay, this is pretty OCD. So what can I precise more? Okay, so with, when it comes to closing, for example, if I uh, go out, right? Well, in the moment I don't, but if I would go out, if, you know, I would do the whole thing spray because I'm going out, I'm not gonna rewear the clothes before I wash them. Because in case I spray another fragrance and I'm gonna put the clothes, 
the two fragrances are gonna uh, clash. Basically, I'm gonna be wearing two fragrances in one and it's not gonna be intentional, okay? You know what I mean? So yeah, wash the clothes. What I would also advise is that if it's winter and if, if you wanna put a coat on, wait until your fragrance totally settled in your clothes and hair and etc. before you put your coat because obviously you, you're not gonna dry clean your coat every time. Also, I do layer fragrances with uh, their moisturizers. When I get gift sets uh, gifted to me, or if I buy them, whatever, uh, I think it's a good idea to use on at least uh, your upper body part. The moisturizer uh, you use, you the matching moisture, moisturizer to the perfume. Let's say I would have the moisturizer of this. As I'm wearing it today, I would have put it on my upper body. Other than that, I use a moisturizer every day, almost every day, and it makes your fragrance last longer. So I just use the Dove one or use something uh, with quite a neutral scent. I would go with the creamy ones, like I can show you the one I'm using, wait. Okay, like this one or this one, like literally whatsoever. These are just like body milk and I always take for the like, neutral scent like it smells like just a body cream you know what i mean this one the same i i wouldn't take anything scented you know what i mean and as your uh, skin is more moisturized it uh keeps it longer i am personally not a fan of body oils i have thin hair therefore if i put some body oil in this area my hair just gonna look so ratty so quickly so all all my perfume oils I gave them to my fiance and I also keep my hair up during the whole uh, procedure of all of this thing okay I also wear perfume in the afternoon if it's a weak perfume I spray it all the time and if it's a strong perfume I just spray it twice a day and I do spray perfume before I go to bed I really enjoy this and I just usually do yeah one or two sprays one on my arm because what's uh, really pleasant it's when you move you can smell the perfume so i absolutely love that i don't know if i can think of something more that i do i think that that's enough but yeah one two three uh avoiding the hair unless i go out i just overspray. um can i just tell you of what i think is very rude uh, when it comes to perfume spraying is people spraying perfumes in uh, public places i think this is very out of order if you go to the bathroom and you reapply no what did i do here uh i have this you know to track my steps so yeah because i don't want to become fat like becoming fat is the worst fear of my life don't reapply perfume in front of people when you are sitting at a table or when you are at a bar because this is just so rude. When girls do that, it's like, who raised you, girl? Like, who raised you? It's so invasive. So, yeah, don't do it. And uh, in the bathroom, it's correct because, like, whatever, you're, you're powdering your nose. That sounded very wrong. <laughs> in 2020 you're putting like powder makeup lip gloss put a bit of perfume in the bathroom is just fine but don't do it in front of people like why would you do that that's just ridiculous that's immature and that's disgusting but then you do you honey and if you don't like me don't follow me thank you so much but for everyone else thank you for all your support i love you guys so much as you know i try to answer to the most comments i can follow me on my instagram Tell me, do you, are you all as OCD as me when it comes to applying perfumes? Because I feel like, yeah, I'm more on the OCD side. And what about you? How do you apply perfumes? Do you apply perfumes to go sleep? What are your strange habits with perfumes? So yeah, I, I would say me, the strangest thing, it's my hair and my perfumes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You know that I love you, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. And I will see you in my next one. I hope this video was helpful. Bye guys!